Okay, so this is a quick guide on how to use the library. Okay. So in our libraries, we use a system called Geodecimal. Um, Geodecimal assigns numbers to different subjects. Uh, one, one, top, one quick tip that I always give students is that if you know the, the number of the book that you're after, but you're not quite sure, quite sure what book that you want, or if that book that you're after is maybe not available at that time, the books with the same number will have the same subjects and will have something very similar. So maybe it's a slightly older edition, or maybe it's uh, related to the topic. So it gives you a starting point, even if it's not the ideal book that you're after. So, for example, if we were going to here and we were after literature, uh, we can see that literature is, begins with the numbers 800. You know, that will be split into different types of literature, but they all begin with the 800s. So we know that this area, just by looking at the size of the side, shows us which, uh, shows us which parts of literature we're going to be in. Okay? We can then narrow that down to the specific type of literature that we're after. So, for example, uh, we could be after uh, American literature or English literature, and we can narrow that down to a specific number. Okay, so uh, you know what book that you're after. Uh, you're you're to your reading list, which I will mention a bit later on, uh, but you want to try to find that book. Okay, the book's going to be in here, it's going to be physical. Is it? Maybe not. Okay, so if you want to go onto the library search page, uh, this is going to give you a catalog, but I'm, we're going to, we are going to tackle this in a slightly different way because I'm going to show you a page that you should be bookmarking, and that's your subject guide. So if we go to support subject guides, and then onto subject guides itself, and then say we're, we're still looking for literature, we can go down here to English and Creative Writing, for example, and just press go, and that puts us onto our English literature page, English and Creative Writing page. This has got all of the useful information as well with because if you've got this book, you're 90% 90, 90 ahead of the curve already. Um, and what this will tell show you is uh, shows you your academic tutors, uh, Eleanor and Jody, uh, who you can book appointments with uh, for any more in depth, in depth uh, issues that you have, such as uh, any academic skills issues, such as academic writing, uh, tutor uh, feedback. You know, what, what, does, what, does, what does the tutor mean when they say something on the side of feedback? Uh, Eleanor and Jody will translate that for you. <laughs> Um, but also, more importantly, what this area has is it's got books and other resources. It tells you the class numbers. So if you remember those Jewish decimal numbers that we talked about, this is where you find the first part of that. So, for example, we are looking for English literature, that's in the 820s. Uh, we are looking for poetry, that's 821. Um, it also shows us information with regards to online books, so how we can access digital copies. And generally, we, if the new of the book, the more likely it's going to be a digital or an online copy than before. Um, we probably have just as much, if not more, online access now than we do, than we do physical print. As the added bonus, you don't need to come in onto campus to use it. You can use it from home. Obviously, it, it expanded by multitudes when we uh, had the pandemic. That's, that was the initial impetus that moved it forward to such an extent. And of course, it's, it's carried on. But also in this area, you can access the library search and go straight into the catalog. Okay. So this brings us onto the library search page. Now, we're after a piece of English literature. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be boring. I'm gonna go for a Hobbit. Okay. Not a boring book, but I'm gonna go for it because I know it. So let's go for a print item. Do we have it on print? So I'll just type in a keyword, for example. And we do have videos that will give you more examples of more terms to use. So there we go, the Hobbit, the unexpected journey. Uh, that's actually over at the creative collection. What the one that we want is this one. The Hobbit will go and back again, which is here at Paul. Gives me the number 823.914. And after that, on the spine will be T O L, the first few letters at the top. Okay, so we won't get it mixed up with, with any other books. Okay. Now I can click onto that, and that will show us the status. So it shows us that there's one item available. It's loadable, it's on the shelf, which is brilliant. That's what we want. So we can we can get that. If we're here, we can just walk straight to it, pick it up, uh, and check it out. If we weren't here, you might, want to, you might want to request it so that you can get it saved, just in case other people are going to go through it as well. In which case, you need to sign in. Okay. It's probably advisable to sign in all the time whilst you're using the library catalog. Uh, because you may need to go to an online book and that will be through, through a publisher. If you're already signed in, you'll sign in through Staffs University. Cuts a lot of the, the work out for you. It's worth it. Uh, so we can go, we can pick, up, we can pick that book from here. So we've got a book. We can go with Hobbit, get our token. So first thing, first, everything self-service on the checkbox. Now, if you're stuck, you weren't sure, and you were in here, in call, during the day, there's a member of Student Connect that will always be happy to help you with the it's, it's It is quite simple, just like self-service at the supermarket. Okay. 
So the first thing we want to do is we want to issue a book. So we're going to issue this. Press issue. It tells me to tap my library card against the card reader. Now your library card is going to look slightly different to mine because mine's a staff card, but it is your student card. That is your library card. Just tap it against the reader like that. And that puts us into my account. Okay. Now at this point, if I wanted to, I can go to the account summary. It shows what I've got out. It shows what holds I've got, what charges I've got. Um, we don't want that. We want to go to issue. Okay. So all I do for the issue is just place the book on there and it will read it. Because it's green and got a tick, that's what we want. That means it's uh, sent it to my account. So it's now my responsibility. So I can finish there and I can go. I can have a receipt if I want, but you will have an email receipt. So talk to yourself if you want to have a printed one or not. I tend to not. Now the book will um, is now yours for two weeks. Have it for two weeks. After two weeks, if a student has requested it, then you'll have a you'll have a notification. It comes through your email account. So make sure you keep an eye on your students' emails. If no student has requested it, the book will automatically renew after two weeks. Okay, and it will do that up to twelve times. So you might do it twenty-four weeks if you're lucky. Okay, if nobody else wants that book. However, if you need to bring the book back in, very straightforward. Um, exactly the same process as what I've just done, but just in reverse, effectively. Okay, so we just want to press return. Okay. Don't necessarily need your card for a return because it will read where it's come from. Okay, it'll tell you to put it in the bin underneath. And then just finished. And then again, print a receipt if you want to, if you want to receipt. You will get sent an email that'll tell you that you returned it. Okay. So you've got a book that you want. Uh, it's available here in Core, or you're based in Stafford. You can get that book sent to Stafford. We can we'll deliver it to Stafford when you when you request it on the catalogue, as I showed for the uh, for the request on the books. You can get the book sent to Stafford from there, or maybe you are based on College Road uh, and get it once to Creator. You can get it sent to Creator, or you're working in Catalyst. You can get it sent to the Catalyst. We do ask to give, especially for College Road and for Catalyst, about 24 hours notice because it could be that you've requested the book and it's, the book's all just gone. Um, so if you know where you're going to be working a day in advance, maybe that's the best way to do it. Obviously, staff it a little longer because there will be a couple of journeys a week, so it might be about three days for staff. However, uh, if you're picking a book up, so it's either a book that's been um, requested from another user, and another user had it and you've requested it and it's come in, or, or it's one that you're going to just pick up to use, uh, they'll be here if they're in call. In Catalyst, we've got a click and collect area just behind the counter at the reception. Uh, and at Creative, we've got an area just at the front. Again, they'll all say click and collect on them. All have the same machines. You just check out as you, as I just showed, you just check out as normal. Your book would be listed in here. It will be listed by your initials. So surname first, so family name first, and then your first name second. Um, it then has a, a row of four numbers in case two people have the same initial. Lots of them having the same numbers and pretty, pretty be uh, and as I say, you then just take it off the shelf and make sure you check the health of the machine as normal. 